Wish me an oaks! <laughs> Damn, did you see that, Ellis? That charger tried to grab me, but ended up slipping off my back. Oh, well, Nick, how'd you get the charger to slip off you like that, man? Oh, that's because I borrowed up my back, Ellis. You what, Nick? You borrowed up your what? I borrowed up my back. I just take a jar of butter and smear it across my back. It keeps the zombies off me. Oh, hell, Nick. That's a pretty smart idea. But why did you... I mean, how did you come up with that idea, Nick? Well, that brings a story. Back in my younger days, before the zombie apocalypse, I was driving my car down the highway when I noticed the police car behind me. You see, Ellis, I had drugs in the car. Oh, shit, Nick. Yeah. I didn't want the police to scan my license plate because I had expired. Dang, that's a lot of crimes committed. Well, I sped up to evade the cop, but apparently I was already going over the speed limit and speeding up just made it worse. So the police car flashed its lights and drove right behind me. I pulled over, the police car rolled up behind me, and he got out of his car. The officer asked me my name, age, birth date, and driver's license. I had my driver's license with me, but I didn't give it to him because I didn't want him to identify a warrant I had. Well, Nick, just to stack up the crimes? Yep. So I told the officer I didn't have my driver's license and gave false information about my identity. I didn't talk smoothly and probably came off as deceptive, Grab but I didn't want to confess myself and go to jail. I've already been there twice and I didn't want to go back. I got a life to live, Ellis. A business to run. Speaking of running, I needed two from the cops. The police officer said he would check up on me and I'll be free to go as long as I check up okay. So he walked back to his car. Meanwhile, I was just sitting there trying to figure out how to escape. But then I looked over at the passenger seat and saw a jar of butter. I had a great plan. I knew what to do. I grabbed the jar of butter and spread it over my back. I was kinda yucky getting my $3,000 suit all messy, but being in prison with a $10,000 fine is worse, right? Right. So after my back was buttered up, I slowly opened my car door. Unfortunately, the officer noticed pretty quickly and ordered me to close it, but that just motivated me to open it up quicker. I made a run for it, but the officer caught up. He tackled me, but to my surprise, he just slipped off my back, as if there was a protective layer there or something. Damn, that's quite a story. Well, why was that the first thing you thought of, Nick? to butter up your back. Sometimes, genius ideas come out of nowhere. I just looked over at the butter. Hey Nick, that was my ass you shot. And you knew what to do? Yep, spot on Ellis, spot on. Yeah, but that just seems kinda odd to me. That would be something you even consider doing, Nick. I don't know, man. Are you intoxicated with drugs to come up with the idea? Come to think of it, Ellis. Yes, I probably was on drugs or something. That's some crazy shit. Well, at least you weren't sane while you buttered your back, because if you were, Nick, I don't know. I'll be worried for you. Like, that just needs to be an insane decision, you know? Yeah, I probably was on drugs. It's all good, Ellis.